Hey, it's Brian with the Midnight Mechanic with your tech tip for today. One of the most annoying things you'll end up having to do on your T56 is bleeding your clutch hydraulics using the factory setup. The factory setup is kind of difficult and gets kind of messy, so we're going to show you the easier way to do it, which is with a remote bleeder. The way you bleed it with the factory setup is through this fitting right here. Air goes to the top of the slave cylinder, you open this up and it pushes all the air out, just like the bleeders on your brake calipers would do. The way you access it is through the outside, open it up with a socket, and it'll bleed fluid out and get everywhere. There's an easy way to do this that you don't have to climb under and get your hand up in there to get to that. This is our new remote bleeder that we got from Tick Performance. This replaces that fitting that we just showed you to help bleed your clutch system. This connects to the slave and over here you have a little check valve. You open this up and you can pump your clutch to bleed all the air out of it and then tighten it back up again. It's a check valve, so it's only a one way, so you don't have to worry about having two people. You can do this on your own. The way to install it is you have to remove this factory fitting first, and we're going to use a 7 16 wrench. To install the new system, there's this little copper washer they give you. That's not supposed to go on that side. They just put it there for shipping. So what you need to do is take it and swap it over to the side that'll butt up against this. Now you can install your fitting on there with that copper washer between the two. Now you can tighten it down with a 13 millimeter. Make sure it's good and tight so you don't get any leaks because this is an area that you do not want to get leaks in. After you have that fitting on, come through the housing. And you can tighten that up. Be sure these are tight enough to not leak because once you install the transmission on the engine, you'll not be able to access this without taking the transmission back off. So make sure these are tight enough that you don't have any issues. It is that easy to install, especially with the transmission out of your car. Now there's a way to install it with the transmission already in, but more than likely if you're bleeding your clutch system, you've already replaced something to introduce air into it, so you need to take it off anyway. I would recommend if you have your transmission out, go ahead and install it. Other thing to be sure of is to tuck this up out of the way because it can fall off and drag on the ground like it did in our shop truck. Good thing about that is I taught Chase how to drive the shop truck without pushing a clutch in. But make sure you hide this out of the way so you don't end up having to spend another hundred bucks and take your transmission back out just because you weren't paying attention. If you have anything else you'd like to learn about, any other tools you'd like to see, post down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Midnight Mech, TikTok at The Midnight Mechanic. Check our other page out, Third Puddle Engineering. We'll see you guys next time.